Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Um, today we are going to start a series on December dailies. <laughs> now, please, please, please don't get angry with me. It's July. I know you don't want to probably start thinking about December, but actually I get very excited about Christmas, but I have to start now in order to be ready because <laughs> it just doesn't happen if I leave it till October and November. Things are just too hectic. So, I hope you're going to enjoy this series. I don't know how many parts there's going to be to it, um, but we're just going to jump in today and I'm going to show you how to alter uh, the book to form the cover. And uh, that's that's all I've I've managed to get done so far. I've, uh, I've got 20 of these to be done. So <clears throat> I've got to get a, a move on. <laughs> So what I've done here, I've got this beautiful fabric. Um, I got such a great deal on this a couple years back when I was living in the U.S. still. Uh, I ran across a nice big bundle of material all Christmas, all probably uh, 1980s, I would say, the the fabric probably was, and um, just based on, you know, the style. And I managed to get all of it for $8, and I've got enough to do loads. So I've got um, another deal Was were these books. I picked up 30 of these at a car boot. Probably, I've had these now, it's got to be a year, <laughs> which is ridiculous. But um, there, these came out, and I love the size of them because they kind of remind me of a... Um, Traveler's notebook size. It's four and three quarter by eight and a quarter. And I just thought, oh my gosh, I gotta have those books. So the guy sold me all 30. I think I paid five dollars uh, or five pounds uh, for all of them. And I'm down to 20. I've used, you know, 10 already. So it's I'm gonna do the last 20 in as December dailies. <clears throat> So what I've done, I've went ahead and I've got all my fabric cut, so we are just going to jump in today and get these babies. Uh, the covers, the fabric on, get those set, and then in the next step we will um, start looking at um, what we're going to do inside. So thinking about it, yes, I must get some, uh, da, da, da. I've got a mess here, guys. I've got so many projects. I've got a project going for my patron um, channel as well. But we'll jump in and do this. And I'll have to stop the video at some point and get the, the paper to do the inside of this. So, okay, so the first thing you want to do, we're going to get some Mod Podge on here. Uh, oh, I don't know. I use the mat. I know there's a fabric one. I've never bothered with it. That's going to be up to you. If you've got another glue that you prefer, well, just, you know, go ahead and use whatever you like. But this is what I use. This is what I've been using for uh, several years, and it works for me. So I'm going to carry on with it. Okay, so what I generally do... <clears throat> is I get my fabric positioned where I want and just get that um, secured down. Now I can flip it over and I'm just going to run my fingers along that little um, indention within the book. And at this point I want to set that, so I'm going to hit it with a little bit of heat before I move on to anything else, guys, um, because I want to make sure that that dries, because if you start shifting that fabric around, you're not going to have that indention. So let me hit that with some heat. I'm sorry for the noise. If you want to fast forward, do, do you know, carry on.
Okay, obviously, guys, I should have said this. Uh, do be careful so you don't burn that fabric. Keep that heat gun moving. Um, for time purposes, I use the heat gun. Normally, uh, I would just do this, set it to the side, and by the time I get around to this after 18 <coughs> journal covers, that's going to be dry. So, totally up to you how you want to <coughs> do it. But, um... That's how I would normally do it in the real world. Real world. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to pull that back a little bit and just put a thin layer of the Mod Podge on there. I think these are going to be a really nice size. I've got a couple people in the family that have asked for these for... Uh, the holidays this year, which is another reason I want to get these done, because I want to take a few back um, when I go home. I'm planning, and I have not got it booked yet, but I'm planning to go home for the election because I do not trust that my mail-in ballot is going to make it. So I've decided, uh, Lord willing, I'm going to try to be back to place my vote this year. And if I do, these are going in, a few of these will be in my suitcase for friends and family. And then if I've got, uh, well, I will have some I can put on the shop to sell if anybody's interested. But who knows how long that's going to take, huh? <laughs> because uh, I, I, I want to get all of these knocked out. Um, they're going to be fairly simple. but Okay, so again, you should probably hit that with some heat. Make sure that's dry, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to crack on. Now what I do is where, you know, the uh, end of the, sp the spine is, just snip that fabric right up there and then that way it's going to make it look <clears throat> make it just slightly easier to get that fabric to um, to do what you want it to do and then the other thing that is the wrong scissors sorry the other thing is I'm going to just notch out the corners so that we get a really nice fold on that. I leave about a quarter, let me see, I'd say about a half of an inch to cover that. Um, a, quarter, a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch so that we can cover that corner nicely. I've seen people cut it right up to it. Mm, it's up to you. I don't really like the look of that. I like it to be really finished nicely. <clears throat> so, just so you can see. And that way you can come in and uh, that's going to finish that corner off it's really nice. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just put about a one inch. And don't go too far because this Mod Podge dries really quick. So I'm just going to take probably um, two sides. And I'm going to put some glue just about an inch into the cover. And then that way we can make a start on these corners. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more for you guys to see. So now I'm just going to get that corner tucked. If, if it's not wanting to hold, then get you a little bit more glue on that corner. And if you... If the fabric gets <clears throat> wet from that glue, it will hold. And now just work that up. Make sure you get that nice and snug. Okay? And then I start from the bottom right corner and I work my way around. That feels most natural to me. You do whatever feels good to you. Now when you get to this point, Go ahead and do this this corner and then 
come up here and work backwards. Remember to try to get that snug and if you need to add a little bit more glue underneath to hold that fabric then certainly do that. Don't worry about that <clears throat> making the fabric wet. That's, that's you know, it's totally fine. Alright, now I'm over here. I'm going to add a little bit more glue because that feels like that's already starting to dry out a little bit. And I know I'm probably moving a little bit quick, but that's because I've done this for so, so long now, guys. Um, so it might take you a little bit longer if you haven't done this before, but take your time and get it right because if you don't, you're, you're going to regret it once you get into that project. You want to do it right. And even if that means taking it apart, um, you want to get it right. Okay, so now let's get some glue on this side here. Just thin that out. You don't want it globbed up too much because you can always come back and add a bit more. And sometimes, you know, sometimes like this corner is going to be a little bit bulky, but don't worry about it because we're coming back over this with paper. So all of this is going to end up um, finished off so nicely. Yeah, I'm kind of expecting the backlash over the Christmas. Getting started with Christmas. I don't know, some people really, oh, they don't even want to. Don't even want you going there over Christmas. I don't know. I love it. I'm just like, bring it on. Let me leave that Christmas tree up all year. I'll be honest, I miss it when my tree's gone because it leaves, <clears throat> it gives such a beautiful light in the um, in the living room. When, when my tree is up, I don't even use the lights because by the time I go down, I'm ready to just zone out. So I put, I just have my Christmas tree lit up all the time. And I, I rarely um, have the light on in the living room because I, I love the light that comes off of my, my Christmas tree. All right, so now we're going to work on this end. Like I said, if you, if you need to, just add a little bit more glue and, and, and get your fabric wet with it. And that will then... Um, press down because I want you to see if I can show you up real close. Look at that. Look at how nice and neat those corners are. You see? So, uh, yeah, I'd be happy to leave my tree up all year, to be honest. I love it, love it, love it. And my gosh, you know, what, what people end up spending in decorations. <laughs> Um, some people spend more on decorating their tree than I have for my whole living room. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I'm, I just love it. And like I said, if I don't get started now, there's no hope that um, that it's going to get done in time. All right, so let me just sit that over really quickly and have a look here. Because when I, when I shut this off, guys, I'm going to try to get all of my covers done today so that I can start getting the pages all cut. I don't think I'll work at ten at all 20 at one time. I'm probably going to divide it up into, because I'll have to have so many stacks of signature, you know, papers cut for the signatures, I don't have the space for it. I'll probably just work on five at a time, because as I said, these are going to be fairly basic. I'm going to just basically put some pockets in it, some stitching, and the pages, um, and then I might, in a separate thing, maybe do some embellishments and just bundle those. I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead, but but I know I can't work on all twenty at one time. But I will have the covers at least ready. So now, oh look at that! Isn't that beautiful? Look at how neat that's come out. Can you see? I don't know if the camera's going to show. The um, That's the indention. You see how nice and neat that is? That's 
that's why you've got to set that spine first. Because if you don't, if that has not completely dried, when you snug that fabric up, <coughs> it's going to come out of that. And it's just not going to look uh, finished. So there we go, guys. Let me shut this off now. I'm going to get some... Uh, uh, gosh, I hope I've got some ribbon. Huh. I hope I've got some ribbon that's going to coordinate with this. I'm going to have to do some digging around because... I don't know if I've got Christmas colors for ribbon, but at this point you're going to want to get your ribbon in there and then we're going to finish this off with some beautiful Christmas paper. So I will be back. Okay guys, I managed to find some just natural sorry silk and that's <clears throat> the best I can do unfortunately. I, it would have been nice to have had a beautiful red. I don't think I've got... I might have a strip of sorry here, but I don't. So, I'm just going to go on with, with the sorry silk. I might see if I can order something since I've got so many of these to do. So what I'm going to do, guys, is just eyeball the center of that and just put a little bit of the Fabri-Tac. Oops, I'm so sorry about that, guys. I'm trying to get that window open. Alright, just let that dry for a little bit. It won't take long. Uh, you will want to have... A glue that is going to adhere your paper to fabric. Um, I'm trying to get through this fabric tank, but that's what I've got. So, okay. So I have went ahead and cut these. Now, obviously, you're not going to have this size book, so you're going to need to measure that. And I generally come in a quarter of an inch from the width and height when I cut mine and you can see that way we'll see a little bit of that fabric underneath and the other thing I've done is I'm going to I want to sew all of this so what I'm going to do is stitch around this before I glue this down same thing with here I'm going to stitch this pocket and I'm going to go ahead and notch this now if you're curious about how to make this pocket that is four inches by six inches, the base. And then just put that into your cutter at an angle, and you, that way you can get the slant on it. So, um, you know, just decide how much of a slant you want. I like that. And then this little pocket is three and five eighths by two and a half. And I just want to notch that out just slightly before I sew it. So what I'm going to do is go to the machine, stitch three sides here to make that pocket. And then, actually first I'm going to go along this, just because I want to have this, the stitching. I'm going to do that, then I'm going to stitch three sides to form that pocket and then stitch all the way around here and then stitch this on um, one, two, three. So I'll be back and show you guys that uh, once I've completed it. Now the other thing, I've got another pocket for the back I want to show you because again this is all going to go to the machine and once I do that um, you'll see how it all comes together. This is the inside, and then this I've cut because I want to have a nice big pocket, but I'm thinking I'm going to do a little notch. Instead of in the center, I'm going to go up here just slightly so that you've got a little opening there. 
And then the same thing in here, I want another little pocket, and so I'm just going to notch that out as well. And again, a lot of stitching I want to see that, and then after that's done, we can get this glued, and that will be our um, altered book complete and ready for the next phase, which will be deciding on the papers, and then at that point, um, I can show you how we're going to add that in and thinking about it. Actually, I'm not going to glue this down. I'm going to get these ready because I just realized this is what happens when you haven't done these for a while. Because we're going to make this a um, hidden spine, which means we're not sewing directly through that. Now, if you want to sew directly through, then by all means do it. But I'm going to do a hidden spine, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, so, keep bearing that in mind, that will all have to, the signature block will have to get glued in first, and then we will come back. So, all I'm going to do now is go and get these sewn, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. This is how they now look that they've been stitched. And as I said, I apologize for that. I was getting ahead of myself. Uh, we are not going to glue those now. The next thing we're going to need to do is get our signature block together, and then we will get that glued in because it's going to be um, sewn into some more material. And so I want all of that glued down before we um, proceed to finish off the inside uh, covers. All right, so don't worry about that. That'll all get covered up with the hidden spine. So that is part one, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll um, consider joining me. And also, if you would just give a thumbs up, that helps me um, a lot with, with the growth of my channel. And um, if you'd like more content, I hope that you'll consider joining my Patreon site. The description, um, the link is in the description box below. If you want to hop over there and just check it out and see if it's for you, that would be great. If not, guys, I'll see you soon with part two. Take care. Bye.